I've recently made a number of videos uh, covering the topic of, of measurements. Not just loudspeakers, but all audio components. Um, you probably saw the last few videos that I did with Soundstage's Doug Schneider um, talking about, you know, measurements and reviews and reviewers. If not, there's a link below, you can check them out. I think you'll find them very interesting if you haven't seen them. But today I'm going to cover something that has to do with measurements, but has, you know, came up in the comments for some of these videos. You know, I had a lot of, uh, a lot of discussions with customers who, uh, and, and some non-customers who were like, you know, why, why should I listen to you? You're, you're a, a designer of loudspeakers for a particular company. You're just trying to tell me that your speakers measure better and sound better than what I have already. Or, um, you know, I've had this XYZ speaker pair for many, many years. I love them. I know they're not accurate. I've seen the measurements but I love them and I love what they do. So I guess the question that uh, is being posed is, even if my speakers don't measure well, should I, I mean, should I get rid of them or can I just enjoy them? Isn't that what it is all about at the end of the day? If my system, I enjoy it for my musical tastes or my personal listening biases, if I like them, that's all that should matter. And that's absolutely correct. You know, at the end of the day, I, I can argue until I'm blue in the face that, you know, our speakers are, you know, an excellent value based on the price performance ratio. They're all well engineered. We spend a lot of time putting painstaking effort into the measurements of the loudspeakers because we know that those measurements translate into a neutral sounding speaker that sounds great on any type of music and a lot of rooms. I don't want to, you know, not going to try and sell you on that idea because, you know, a lot of people, they've had a pair of speakers or they've had a system that hasn't changed in many, many years. If you've lived with that and got used to that sound, even if it's been in a number of different rooms or a number of different households, you may have an audio memory of that system that is sort of smoothing over the warts and the faults. And again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's that, I mean, it's your system. But I'll give you a little bit of analogy of why you might, might want to look at moving to a speaker that is more neutral and was designed around measurements rather than, you know, maybe, maybe designed by, by listening. And there's a lot of particularly audiophile speakers on the market that, that are designed that way. And that comes down to maybe you don't know what you're missing by not having an accurate loudspeaker. If there's recordings in your collection that, you know, sound really bad, you know, that you don't even play them because they just sound so awful, is it the recording or is it the loudspeaker? Maybe the recording is great, but your loudspeaker has got a peak in some area that makes the vocal sound really harsh and really hard and it hurts your ears. You know, maybe that's something that could be going on that you're actually, your listening preferences are moving around the deficiencies in your loudspeakers. Have you ever listened to a song for the first time in your car which let's say you don't have a fancy high-end car stereo, you just have a regular stock stereo. You heard it maybe on an AM radio station where you know the sound quality isn't gonna be very good. You know, you thought you liked it, maybe you loved it, and then you came home and you listened to it on your on your big system. You either streamed it or you went out and bought, you know, a CD or an LP of it, and you went, oh my God, this sounds so much better. I'm hearing all kinds of things that I didn't hear before when I was listening to it in the car that first time. And wow, this is incredible. Well, it's a totally different listening experience. You've got a much better system that you're listening to it on. Well, the same thing can happen if you go from a pair of loudspeakers that you've got used to and you've listened to for years that may not be technically very neutral or very accurate. And the same thing can happen if you move to you know a loudspeaker that's designed with neutrality in mind and with rigorous measurements done. You may actually find you're discovering or rediscovering your entire music collection. 
And that's where this comes down to. I know I had a lot of comments on those measurement videos saying, well, you know what, you, you just can't pull the measurements out and say that that's a good or a bad speaker. At the end of the day, we have to listen to it. If you don't listen to it, then what's it matter, right? It doesn't matter how good those pieces of paper with the graphs and all of those measurements look. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. If the speaker doesn't sound any good, if I don't think it sounds good or you don't think it sounds good, then it isn't any good, no matter how good the measurements are. And that's very, very true. I think though the key is, is that if you can depend on uh, manufacturers that uh, are measurement and engineering based, and you have some reviewers that are doing good measurements, Soundstage is one of the few that actually measures loudspeakers in an anechoic chamber, in a calibrated and certified anechoic chamber. If you then can depend on those things, you can quickly see which manufacturers are doing a good job in terms of designing or engineering a loudspeaker. And I urge you at some point, maybe not today, maybe it'll take a, a few years before you're comfortable or you know, order something online that has a return policy, try out speakers from one of these manufacturers. Maybe give your 30 year old or 50 year old or whatever speakers that you had when you were in high school, give them a rest for a little bit and listen to a modern, well-designed loudspeaker. I guarantee you that what's gonna happen, you're gonna find all kinds of things in your music collection that you hated to listen to that are now gonna sound fantastic. And again, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on the topic. Thank you very much for watching.